Let us begin with the lesson wherein we will learn about quantitative research. Quantitative research requires the use of numbers. In other words, the data gathered are figures. The numbers gathered go through a statistical method or mathematical calculation. The goal of quantitative research methods is to collect numerical data from a group of people. The results is used to explain a phenomenon or answer a question. Quantitative research is generally used to answer clear, predefined questions. It is used when researchers want definite and conclusive answers. The methods can be conclusive since the data is numerical. How satisfied are people when visiting a company website? Whether customers like the taste of a particular product? Are some examples of questions quantitative research can answer. The limitations of quantitative research. Quantitative research cannot accurately measure the reasons why people act in a certain way. It also cannot explain how and why some things occur. People are influenced by many things in the environment, and their thoughts, actions are different from one another and may even change. Improper representation occurs because many times we do not gather information from everyone in the target population. Rather, only a portion or a sample becomes the representation of the population. And quantitative research can be very costly and time-consuming. The following are the methods of quantitative research. A survey is the process of gathering data from specific respondents, then analyzing the data collected. Correlation research is conducted to understand the relationship between two entities and what impact each one of them has on the other. For example, a research can be conducted to understand the relationship between the colors of a product and age or gender. Such research can help understand patterns, relationships, and trends. Causal comparative research is a method based on comparison. It is used to deduce the cause-effect relationship between variables. For example, a research can be conducted to analyze the effect of good educational facilities to students in the province. A study can be done to analyze the before and after changes in the students from the rural areas when they are provided with educational facilities. Observation or quantitative observation is gathering data that can be quantified or counted. In other words, the data can be measured. For example, in researching about road traffic, the types of vehicles traveling on a certain road during a given time can be observed. A survey is a research method used for collecting data from a predefined group of respondents to gain information and insights into various topics of interest. Survey research is one of the most popular ways to gather data, especially for conducting business research. Nowadays, most of the major corporations use this method to gather data and use it to understand the market and make business decisions. With the advancement in technology, Surveys can now be conducted conveniently by sending it through email or social media. The following are the types of survey. A questionnaire is a set of questions to be answered by a target audience. The data gathered are then analyzed to form a conclusion. An interview is a face-to-face -face question and answer data gathering method. Instead of using questionnaires, which is non-personal, the interview is conducted in person. Cross-sectional surveys are data from a set of audience at a given point in time. Longitudinal surveys are collected data from a set of audiences across various time duration in order to understand changes in respondents' behavior during different time periods. What is the difference between surveys and questionnaires? Questionnaires include any written set of questions. Surveys are the set of questions and the process of collecting, aggregating, and analyzing responses. In other words, questionnaires describes the content, while survey is a broader term that describes content, method, and analysis. So these are the steps in survey development. Formulate goals. Before beginning to write questions for a survey, it is important to know the objectives. What can be learned? And how will the survey help? It is important to develop assumptions and expectations at this stage. Write the survey questions. This is the part that should be carefully developed. The right questions should be asked 
it is important to choose words carefully so that the respondents are not influenced. Send it to respondents. Send it to the right respondents. The target must be predetermined. It is important to ask the questions to the right people. Finally, collect the data and analyze the responses. The data gathered has to be tallied. It should go through the right statistical method in order to draw a reliable conclusion. That ends today's lesson. Kindly visit our Google Classroom to access the classwork. If you have any questions, just type it in the comment box. Thank you and have a nice day.